Through strategic innovation and customer service, DISA is the trusted provider to connect and protect the warfighter in cyberspace for the Department of Defense. It is through trusted partnerships with industry that DISA delivers what warfighters require for mission success. When warfighters encounter a problem or identify an opportunity for improvement that could benefit from an IT solution, they look to DISA. Once the requirements are clear, we determine if a solution already exists in the DISA service catalog. When the required capability is not readily available or adoptable, DISA's Procurement Services Directorate is fully engaged to facilitate strategic sourcing initiatives to buy the right solution, relying on our relationship with industry to solve the warfighter's problems. DISA works through program offices, the small business office, and tech firms to create a unique product for the mission partner. No matter the scope of the requirement, DISA relies on large and small businesses to provide new and creative ideas that lead to innovative capabilities. Once the path to the right solution is determined, the collaboration process kicks into high gear to deliver the capability to our warfighters. The DISA team works to conduct testing and certification, evaluate security vulnerabilities, administer authority to operate on the DODEN, and provision and deliver services. When these pieces come together, a capability that began as an idea becomes a reality. Warfighters rely on DISA and industry to fulfill their IT requirements. As a result, solutions are available to our mission partners across the entire enterprise. We support the warfighter. Trusted partnerships between DISA, mission partners, and industry make it happen. When you enter into a partnership with DISA, you are supporting warfighters and missions around the world. The video that you just saw depicts this year's theme trusted partnerships. Technology is constantly evolving and DISA is committed to strengthening our partnerships with industry to pace that change. I would like to read a quote from the SecDef, General Mattis, just last week. As the old saying goes, there's strength in numbers. When nations pool resources and share responsibility, their burdens become lighter. It also gives the U.S. a better chance to advance its interests and maintain a balance of power that will keep enemies from thinking twice about aggression. The stability that comes from alliances and partnerships can also generate much needed economic growth. So what if we replace nations with DISA and industry partners? Let me read that again. When DISA and industry partners pool resources and share responsibility, their burdens become lighter. And that the stability that comes from those partnerships can generate much needed economic growth. As an IT agency, we need our industry partners to help us focus on the big picture of driving innovation, fostering collaboration, and helping us achieve a common goal. Industry has a lot of expertise, research, and experience, all of which can help DISA develop solutions that solve the warfighters' problems and keep pace with our adversaries. Our theme, Trusted Partnerships, embodies the way we work closely with industry to develop solutions for the DOD. Only by working together can we expand our capabilities and support to those protecting our great nation. Be our partner. We can achieve great things together. So who are we? 
While I serve in a dual-handed role as the Director of DISA and the Commander of the Joint Force Headquarters Department of Defense Information Network, or Joint Force Headquarters DODEN. Both organizations play a critical role in providing our warfighters, the Department of Defense, and national level leaders with the best communications and information technology services worldwide. DISA conducts DODEN operations for the joint warfighter to enable lethality across all warfighting domains in defense of our nation. Joint Force Headquarters DODEN provides command and control of DODEN operations and defensive cyberspace operations, internal defensive measures globally across all 43 DOD components in order to synchronize the protection of DOD capabilities to enable power projection and freedom of action across all warfighting domains. Everything these two organizations do is to support the warfighter and increases the ability to accomplish their assigned missions. Together, we support the Def Secretary of Defense's National Defense Strategy and his three lines of effort to increase lethality for our warfighters, to strengthen partnerships, and to reform the department. Partnerships with industry are a key component in the National Defense Strategy and in what DISA does for all those we support. The Executive Branch, the Office of the President, the White House, and the National Security Council, the Legislative Branch in the Congress, the Federal Government, including the State Department, Department of Homeland Security, the Office of Personnel Management, and all military services, every combatant command, and the DOD agencies and field activities. Our mission is focused on securing, operating, and modernizing our networks, applications, and systems with innovative tools to counter threats, minimize risks, and maintain a competitive advantage. Our field offices and commands located around the world have a significant role in how the agency supports our combatant commands and their components. They provide direct support in their respective areas of responsibility. Our field offices and commands serve as advocates for DISA's portfolio of services and identify ways DISA can help support a combatant command. They also advocate to DISA headquarters on behalf of the combatant command to translate their warfighting needs, mission requirements, and other activities, as well as provide recommendations for future services and capabilities, whether unique to that combatant command or an enterprise service across the Department of Defense. This slide depicts, also depicts our operations centers, special support commands, data centers, and SATCOM teleport sites around the country and the world that ensure continuously available operational and security capabilities, both tailored and global, that provide our warfighters with reliable and secure communications and information supporting every mission in every domain. As a combat support agency for the department, DISA is uniquely positioned to take on major tasks and initiatives to connect and protect the warfighter in cyberspace. To change the way the department secures and protects its information networks, DISA has partnered with the military services to deploy joint regional security stacks. The JRSS platform enables the greater DOD community to review network traffic, inspect data, retrieve threat and malware data on the network, troubleshoot, and take steps to patch, protect, and defend the network. By deploying JRSS, the security of the network is centralized into regional architectures instead of locally distributed architectures at every base post camp or station. We are currently working to complete installation, identify resources for continuous implementation and deployment, and migrate security services to JRSS. DISA's command and control portfolio supports the warfighter by providing secure access to capabilities and seamless information sharing needed to plan and execute our joint operations. As you may know, Vice Admiral retired Jerry O'Tuttle passed away last week. He was the driver for JOTS, the Jerry O'Tuttle system in the Navy, that was the basis for our current Global Command and Control System Joint, or GCCSJ. GCCSJ is the principal foundation for our nation's dominant battle space awareness, providing an integrated, near real-time common operational picture of the battle space. Now, GCCSJ is being transitioned to a cloud-based enterprise architecture 
GCCS Joint Environment, or JE. The most significant change in 30 years from the original core JOT system, enabling Vice Admiral Tuttle's vision to become a more powerful, resilient combat enabler for our national and combat uh, combatant command leadership. GCCS JE will provide rapid presentation and aggregation of relevant data for quick decision making. With new ways to visualize data, speed delivery of new capability, and lower life cycle cost across the department. As a priority for the department, DISA is leading efforts to support a highly mobile workforce by providing secure access to enterprise capabilities anywhere and at any time for greater mission effectiveness. Mobility solutions support mm -hmm. operational readiness, increase productivity, and provide greater flexibility. The number of mobility customers is growing steadily, and the agency is expanding the availability of unclassified and classified mobile solutions. Specifically, DISA is looking to replace desktops with mobile devices to expand and extend enterprise solutions that ensure interoperability, increased security, access to information, and reliable service to the mobile workforce. The agency is offering MillCloud 2.0, a fit-for-purpose, on-premise cloud offering that provides secure commercial services to DOD users. It will connect DOD networks to on-site commercial cloud environments. The solution provides mission partners with the latest te cloud technologies at competitive prices and uncompromised performance. DISA has a, held a symposium last December and another one in May to help mission partners from combatant commands, military services, and agencies understand why cloud adoption matters to DOD and to learn more about the agency's current cloud service offerings. DISA has a lot of cloud experience, so it was important for us to work closely with mission partners, guide them through the initial steps of exploring a potential cloud solution that's applicable to their mission needs, and provide a seamless onboarding process. As we continue developing innovative services and capabilities, there's an ongoing effort within the department to modernize and consolidate networks. The agency is supporting this effort by deploying the JRSS platform to secure the Doden and migrating fourth estate data centers to MailCloud 2.0. This strategy will reduce the department's data center footprint and support federal data center optimization efforts. In the spring, we announced our plan to reshape and evolve the DISA computing ecosystem reducing DISA's own physical data center footprint around the world and identifying ways to provide cost savings which will be passed on to our mission partners. We are also modernizing our DISN backbone by eliminating TDM and low-speed circuits, moved on to high-speed IP circuits with auto-provisioning and network function uh, virtualization through software-defined networks and multi-protocol label switching. At the transport layer, this means a self-recovering optical transport network with end-to-end -end encryption increasing from 100 to 400 gigabits per second. All this will result in a DISM with reduced network complexity and number of devices, unsurpassed bandwidth to support rapid growth in data usage and enhanced resiliency of our network infrastructure. To drive anonymity out of the Doden, the agency will pursue the development of assured identity to advance how federal agencies continuously identify and authenticate users and devices. There's a simultaneous effort to address the form factor challenge presented with common access cards or CACs in a mobile environment. The department is actively working solutions such as purebred to leverage derived credentials and other forms of continuous multi-factor authentication. The defensive cyber operations mission requires constant vigilance, improvement, and innovation. As the agency continues operating and supporting the warfighter, we have to minimize our growth and footprint. One way we plan to achieve this is by investing in cybersecurity capabilities that allow us to orchestrate and automate our key defensive uh, processes. To support this, our cybersecurity service provider team is exploring the use of enterprise tools, machine learning, robotics, and artificial intelligence to expand the effectiveness of our, our analysis with existing staff. 
These capabilities will use our sensor data to help the agency readily identify long-term cybersecurity trends, uncover changes in adversary behavior, and develop algorithms to identify suspicious activity. And it will help the DISA team expedite actions that are historically performed manually. We must do this across cybersecurity if we're to pace the threat in, in cyberspace. Our team is committed to understanding the complexity of attack vectors and reducing them. Implementing a cloud-based internet isolation solution will help us protect our network from browser-borne threats. By taking the internet browser off the workstation and placing it in a remote cloud-based server outside of the Doden, we can renew, review traffic from afar and protect the network while preventing malware and cyber attacks. We're interested in hearing from industry as we develop a solution for this part of our cybersecurity portfolio. With these initiatives in mind, reducing the attack vector is critical to our operations. In a given month, DISA executes roughly a billion defensive cyber operations events, automatically blocking most of those. We intervene in nearly 1,000 incidents and 420 phishing attacks, and we conduct over 2,000 countermeasures. Our adversaries are becoming more sophisticated, their threats are becoming more complex, and the number of cyber attacks is increasing. All of the solutions I've discussed reduce the attack vector in the architecture itself, reduce the amount of cybersecurity attacks that we have to manually respond to, and ultimately ensure resiliency to support mission accomplishment. As the agency continues to change its roles and responsibilities, several things will transition within the department this year. The National Background Investigation Services, or INVIS, is transitioning to the Defense Security Services. And both multinational information sharing programs and commercial satellite communications are transitioning to the Air Force. The Joint Service Provider has been a part of DISA for a year now, and the DOD's fourth estate is moving their applications to MailCloud 2.0. You'll hear more about these from our, our speakers later. As the department continues to build trusted partnerships with industry, all parties involved have to be accountable and responsible for one and to one another. Cybersecurity needs to be at the forefront of our operations. Cyber is our battle space, and resiliency in that battle space is key for our networks, applications, and systems. The DOD must be able to fight hurt in every domain to sustain attacks and continue operations. Implementing a mission assurance cyber strategy helps the agency maintain that resiliency and protect our capabilities to continue operations. The agency is raising the bar on our expectations for industry partners, and we need you to implement cybersecurity measures in all deliverables. You and others in our industry hold valuable DOD-related uh, data, and you are a target for adversaries as much as DOD is. As a result, we will review how well companies handle reporting security breaches and the steps taken to prevent them. We will grade companies on security incidents, your level of response, and outline consequences for putting data and information at risk. As part of our partnership, we have to find ways to be good stewards and identify meaningful and sustainable ways to deliver cost savings to taxpayers. Section 921 of the 2019 National Defense Authorization Act directs the department to provide a certification of cost savings to congressional defense committees. To maintain a high level of trust with the American public, we have to avoid excessive spending and focus on providing value for the warfighter and the nation by developing innovative, cost-saving capabilities. This is the reform Secretary Mattis directed. Trusted partnerships between the agency and, and industry representatives, large and small, require transparency and must reflect high ethical standards and behavior. Engaging and collaborating with industry gives DISA the opportunity to create and modernize innovative solutions and develop, provides benefits for both parties. Our communication processes and decisions must be transparent, fair, and impartial so we can continue maximizing support for our warfighter. Doing so assumes a level of trust, drives growth, shows good intent, and helps us foster accountable and sustainable partnerships now and in the future. When warfighters encounter a problem or opportunity for improvement, they reach out to DISA for information technology solutions. 
as shown in the opening video, for services and capabilities that are not currently available. The agency relies on innovation and collaboration with industry to take the best ideas from concept to solution. This presents industry with an opportunity to align its expertise in research and development with the agency to put state-of-the-art technologies in the hands of our warfighters. Your partnership is critical for us to stay ahead of adversaries, to operate and defend the Doden, and enable lethality across all warfighting domains. DISA is fortunate to have a talented and diverse workforce dedicated to the mission, including many of the leaders you will see have an opportunity to engage with today. They embody the values that DISA stands for, duty that inspires service and accountability. Creating trusted partnerships supports DISA's vision to be the trusted provider to connect and protect the warfighter in cyberspace. I want you to share that vision and our values to ensure success in defense of our nation. We look forward to hearing from you and gaining a better understanding of how you can support us with our future requirements. Thank you again for being here today and continuing to partner with DISA.